is going to be a video reviewing bore foot calculations for the bedside table, which is, is an assignment that I handed out uh, around the beginning of the distance learning when we started on April 6th. Now, after downloading what was submitted, most students submitted the project, which is great, but after I checked over a lot of the assignments, uh, most of it was done incorrectly. So this video was meant to show you how to do this assignment properly and going forward being able to do this properly. Um, so I'm going to be giving out another one of these in a, in a day or so and we're going to make this next one count for marks. Uh, so this one here won't count for marks but you need to take a look at this video and so you're able to learn here and apply to the next one. Okay, so looking at board feet and pricing of solid rough lumber, this is in the hub in content. You'll find the board foot calculations module and click on this link. I want to take a look at this piece of text right here. It says stock that is less than one inch thick is always referred to as one inch when calculating board feet. Example, stock that is three quarter thick is changed to one inch when calculating board feet. So that means that when you see three quarters under the column of thickness, it must be changed to one inch because three quarters is the finished thickness that's already been uh, jointed and plane. And so we only need to purchase the minimum thickness of solid rough lumber in this case, which is one inch. Now it says stock that is over one inch thick is calculated to the nearest quarter. Example, a piece of stock that is an inch and a quarter thick would be changed to an inch and a half when calculating board feet. So that means that the finished thickness in that case is an inch and a quarter. So we would have to buy thicker lumber to the nearest quarter, which would be an inch and a half upwards. So that could be jointed and planed down to an inch and a quarter. All right, so going back to the Google Sheet, the formula says board feet equals number of pieces times thickness times width times length times 144. Item quantity column here is number of pieces. And not everyone was referring to this when they were doing their calculations. So that was a that was a mistake people were making, as well as not changing the thickness to one, one inch, one whole number. Now, uh, items number 13 and 18 are different thicknesses, one eighth and one quarter, but we're not calculating those lines because I've written nil here because that material for those item numbers is masonite. And masonite is an engineered material. It's not something you would calculate for, uh, for rough lumber, right? So that's why we're gonna leave those out. So we're only gonna do uh, 16 of the 18 items, right? Which is all the material stock, which is pine. So let's do the first one. So item number one, the number of pieces is two. In our formula, the thickness is one and the width is an inch and three quarters, which is 1.75 and the length is 24 inches. So that is a number of pieces two times one times 1.75 times 24 equals 84. Now we also have to divide that number by 144 as per the formula, and that gives us 0.58. So that's the answer, 0 0.58. We're not going to count the extra decimal places, the three on repeat. All right, so we're only going to take this, and this is something that I, writ I had written in the description for the assignment, and a lot of you did this. 
So we're going to keep that up. So we're going to type in 0.58. Okay, so let's take a look at the second one. The second one, item number two, number of pieces is 2 times 1 times 1.75 times 16 inches. Okay, so 2 times 1 times 1.75 times 16 equals 56 divided by 144. Okay, so this is our answer. Now remember, we're only taking these two decimal places. We do see an 8 on repeat, but ignore this and do not take this value and change it to 9. Like, don't round up. I know that your math teachers would typically want you to round this up, but we were trying to get a clear view of what this project is going to cost, and there is going to be an opportunity to add some scrap allowance for cuts and mistakes later. So just like item number one, don't round up or down, just, just take this value, 0.38. Okay, 0.38. What is the next one? So this one, the item, the item quantity changes. This is going to be one now for number of pieces times one times one times 16. One times one times one times 16. It's going to give us 16. And then we're going to divide that by 144. We're going to get 0.11. Again, this is all we're going to include in our calculation. 0.11. Okay, next item, we're back to 2 for our item quantity. So this is going to be 2 times 1 times 11.25 times 24. 2 times 1 times 11.25 times 24 divided by 144 gives us 3.75. Now this is this is perfect. Uh, just gives us two decimal places. We can just plug this in exactly as it is. Okay, let's do let's do one more. Let's do item number five. This is going to be one for number of pieces times one times 11 inches times 19 inches divided by 144. Okay, so one times one times 11 times 19 equals divided by 144, 1 1.5. Four five. Okay, so again, we're only taking this much with us. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do to show you calculations. I think you get the, the point of that by now. So just to save some time here, I'm going to be just filling in the other values here because I want to talk about something else next. Okay, so we figured out the board feet for every single item number we can. So now we need to come up with the subtotal. So what we're going to do is we're going to be adding up every single item number line together. 
and maintaining two decimal places. So let's do that next. So we're going to start from scratch again here. We're going to go 0.58 plus 0.38 plus 0.11 plus 3.75 plus 1.45 plus 0.39 plus 0.4 plus 0.81 plus 0.55 plus 0.31 plus 0.31 plus 0.53 plus 0.17 plus 0.59 plus 0.76 plus 1.82 equals 12.91. All right, perfect. I don't need to worry about my extra decimal places. So that's your subtotal, adding every line up. Now, this is where people got confused. They weren't sure what to do with 25% waste. So what we're doing is we're adding, we're, we're finding out what 25% of this value is. It's like when you go to the store to buy something. Something may cost a dollar at Dollarama, but that's the subtotal. The tax in the province is 13%. So that means that the, that the, um, tax would be 13% and then you would add the two together and you would get a dollar 13 if we were talking about a dollar which we're not so how are we going to figure this out we're going to take 12.91 we're going to multiply it by decimal 25 and that is what 25% of that looks like so it's going to be 3.22 type 3.22 and then we're just going to add them up so we have to add our subtotal and our scrap allowance our waste so this is going to include for uh, blade widths and thicknesses as we cut to make the project and any uh, mistakes if we make them on any work pieces right so we, some, we bought some extra material to kind of account for that we really shouldn't be scrapping more than a quarter of the project if that's the case you might need to hire a new workforce but uh moving on okay 12.91 plus 3.22 equals 16.13 perfect two decimal places And that is how this should be solved correctly. One last thing, um, under name, make sure you actually add your name when I ask you to do it, because when I download all these for marking, not all of you add your name to the file name, and it may just come with the title, and then when I download it, I have to add your name manually to the file name, but I don't have to do that if you actually add your name to the assignment. This is something I ask you to do as well because I ask you to complete only the column spaces in yellow. And this one was yellow, so I thought that a lot of you would add your name, but uh, it wasn't obvious to most. So please, moving forward, please add your name to these assignments when, um, if I indicate that I want you to do that. Okay, so... That is it for this project, and watch for the new instructions to, to finish this off in a couple of days. Okay.